Okay, gang, I got two saws here with me today. This is my completely bone stock Husqvarna 562 XP Mark Deuce. All right, this right here is a, a part of a deal I worked out with chips and chains. And uh, so anyways, he's got the one that I ported and I've got this one and there was some other stuff, but anyways, but that's the trade. So anyways, the reason I'm here is I've got my FCO 165. Now this is ported. I want to compare the two saws. Get up there. All right. Uh, I mean, a ported saw to a stock saw. So why would you do that? Well, this right here, I got it. I played around with it and I enjoyed what I did with it. I still enjoy the saw. I like it. It's one of my uh, like all time favorites. I really enjoy this saw, but it's not very powerful. Um, basically I did the entire port job by removing the base gasket and utilizing a Yonsa Red 630 piston. Um, and all of the port work, most of it was done on the piston itself. I did very little things to the actual cylinder. It was a test. I wanted to try it out and it runs good. It runs really good. Actually, this thing hasn't been fired up. I mean, for like 10 months, you know, and it, it fired on the second pull and it ran on the third pull. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, it's a really great little saw. I really like it. It's a uh, 63 point something CCs. It's got a 35 millimeter stroke and a 48 millimeter bore, whatever that gives you. I think it's 63 point something. You know, that's why the Johnson Red 630 was called a 630. Uh, so anyways, uh, let's see, but I'm wanting to see if it will hang with this completely stock 562. Both of them have Husqvarna C83 chains. Both the chains have been used, but very, very lightly. They're almost fresh out of the box, but not quite. So it's even, uh, but the reason I'm doing it is I'm using the 562 as a gauge. I may not have this same wood to test in by the time I'm done with this saw. And, uh, and so it might beat it as it is right now. Um, but either way, I'm going to have the 562 and utilize it as a marker for where this saw currently is. If this saw can beat it by 2% and then I do some more work to it and I match them up again and I can beat it by now 12%, that means I gained 10% off of this saw from where it was. So that's the, the, the why and, um, the, Again, man, I got so many things to say. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just talking and talking. The whole point of all this is not because I want more power out of this saw. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm going to enjoy it and I'm going to have fun playing, right? But the reason for all of this is because the 60cc challenge is fast approaching. I don't have a hard date. I'm still waiting on the final two saws, which is a three... 61 a steel ms361 that's being ported by brennan cass and a steel ms362 that is being ported by kirk gearhart so whenever those two saws get finished up and sent back to me then i'll be ready to do the 60 cc challenge and we can figure out according to the challenge what my pick for the best 60 cc ish saw ever made was so and i want this thing to fare better than it is than it will right now so i guess let's do the 562 first
We'll just go back and forth. How's that sound? pretty considerably slower than the 562. After it got some heat in it, I felt like they were pretty, pretty close, pretty, pretty darn close. Um, so whatever it is, now we have our marker, right? We have the 562 XP Mark II completely bone stock against this FCO, which is kind of sort of already ported. But I did a weird thing because I'm a weird guy and I like playing around. I did everything with the piston itself. So now what I'm gonna do is I'll either utilize another John Sered um, 630 piston, or I'll probably more likely just use the stock piston. We'll see, I don't know, I'll have to get back in there and look. You know, I'll cut the squish band, I'll cut the base, and I'll do a more traditional full, full port job on it and uh, see how much of a difference it makes. Another thing that I'm going to have to do is it's got a fine muffler mod, but part of it is I didn't want it to be super loud. I'm going to have to do a little bit bigger muffler mod because we need the stuff to get out um, a little bit better because we're going to try and we're going to try and get more RPM out of it. And I think this for me is going to be fun. I hope that you guys like watching it. I know that I really like running this saw. Both of those saws right there, the, the 562 is worlds better than this. Just, it straight up is. It's super um, vibration free. Uh, and man, they're really capable of power. I mean, that thing's bone stock, bone stock. And this one, while, yeah, it's not traditionally ported. It's not a, it's not a you know, I could have gained more power with it but it does run really good, really good. So uh, a lot better than it was factory. But my guess is they're probably really close to each other. This is probably close to five horsepower. That's probably close to five horsepower if you put it on a dyno, whatever, <laughs> right? But yeah, we'll see what we can do and we can actually really turn this up because I want to see and I wanted to do pretty well in that competition you know uh, don't expect it to be much higher than 10th place or so what however many saws that I do but I do expect it not to be last you know and uh, as it was it probably would be last uh, but I think I know who's gonna come in last or, or uh, which saw is going to come in last but we won't do any spoilers and we'll just see how it goes 
and none of this has anything to do with anything else because each porter ported a different saw and the saw itself is actually going against a stock 70 cc saw so the idea that the i i did not want to pit builder against pit builder on this um hopefully last place is going to be a stock 70 cc saw yeah you know i haven't decided which saw i'm going to use what i want is a stock um 440 or a stock 372 XP that's close to this area that can I, somebody can just let me borrow. But and the 372 XP has got to be the X Torque. Well, I want to get everything to have a chance to beat the 70 CC saw. And there's at least one that I know already in the competition that probably like it probably wouldn't beat a non X Torque 372. So so. But, uh, you know, Jake has that 462, but those things are pretty turned up from the factory. Anyways, enough talky talk. That's your video for the day. So now I know, and uh, I also know, okay, so the, the 562 XP is 1.9, what was it? 1.92% faster than the FCO 165, and um, oh, it, would, it would murder an FCO 165 stock. So, um, but anyways, I also know, if you look at those numbers, uh, let's see. If you look at those numbers, the very first go around was a light dog in. The second go around was a light pressure to, to just let it to the smooth glide through the, through the wood. And then the third go around, I was dogging it in as hard as I could. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm always trying to keep the saw in its power. You know, if I, if, if I make that saw bog uh, too much, that's, it's my fault. Um, so, but anyways, I, I'm, I'm not going to let it bog. What I see from the numbers is that the FCO was almost identical no matter what I did. So it held its torque, right? Uh, it, it just simply doesn't have a whole lot of RPMs. And um, even whenever I was really dogging it in, it, it held its torque. It held its RPM range, which... That's what I wanted that saw to do. I wanted it to be just a good steady work saw that I could go out and enjoy using. And it is that. But now I'm going to try and make it a little bit faster. Uh, we see with the 562 numbers, um, it really fell out of its power whenever I dogged it in hard. It, it really didn't like that. It wanted to sing. Nee! It really wanted to sing. But this isn't about which saw is faster. This is just simply about, I am using the 562 as a gauge for the FCO. And uh, so now we'll, we'll see how far I can go. Uh, that way I'll be able to test these saws and whatever wood I have at the time. Um, I think that the next thing that I'm gonna do is going to be this right here. I can't, I can't see myself. I can't see what's in. Yeah, there we go. It's in the frame. Ding, 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 ding. So I've already started on it. This is getting the timing numbers for the uh, 
steel MS390 average dude mods saws, all the different cylinders. And so I think I'm going to focus on that before I start in on this FCO build. Uh, and I've got something really, really great coming from England. And um, so, yeah, that, 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 that's going to be a minute before it's here, though. Point is, is I'm not going to start on that FCO today or tomorrow. I'm going to start on the video that I'm going to be making for the uh, average dude mods saw with the 390. I'm going to find out which cylinder is the best cylinder to use for you to purchase and everything. All right. That's enough of this. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take it easy.